Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I'm doing an Amazon haul. I've never done one before, but I think I have enough categories that there should be something interesting for everybody, uh, including something fun and weird. So probably a little unexpected. So if you're interested to see what I hauled and then stick around and we'll just get right into it. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know why. It's like a charge around us that just Okay, I'm starting off with the weird. <laughs> just because it's obnoxious and shaped weird and in my way. And if I don't take care of it now, I'm going to bump it and you're going to hear it. So years ago, I got to play with one of these and I was in love with it. And my daughter just bought two, but it is a perplexus. Have any of you ever played with one of these? I love them. I can play with it for hours. But I got the, this one is called the Epic. There is 125 obstacles in this one. My daughter bought two. That's what reminded me about them. I had forgotten all about them. And then I saw them at her house and I was like, okay, I have to have one. I just have to, because like, why not? She got the Rookie or it's called Rebel. And then she also got, or the original. And then she also got one called um, The Beast. So the, the Rookie is a, a 75 or 70 moves and the uh, Beast is 100 and then this one is 125. So I figured once I've accomplished this, we can just like switch out and all get to play with all of them. So I was playing with the Rookie one and I got pretty far on it, but I couldn't finish it while I was there. So I almost bought the Rookie too. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Just take a look and don't mind the light in shining in it. Just look at how interesting that is and how complicated and it's just, it's, there's, there's so much fun. I, there's so much fun. So I'm going to put this away. Cause like I said, this ball, like it makes noise no matter where and things move. So I'm just going to like put it out of the way here so I can get onto the other stuff. I got this Ulanzi. Um, tripod selfie stick and the, the reason I got it I was actually impressed with a couple things first of all it's got the ball head so you can move it all around and plus it's got the little notch there so you can actually put it straight out it also extends by this much so you could turn it into a selfie stick and then of course it has the um, the tripod legs you could just use it on your desk or uh, you could put it down and use it on your desk depending on the height. So that's what I really liked about it. The, the grips on it are nice and rubber. I just, I, I thought this was great. So again, Ulanzi and look for the one with the ball head. Oh, and the other thing it has too, I almost forgot to tell you, it has an extra uh, cold shoe mount right here. Um, so if you wanted to like put a light out or your microphone or whatever, you can stick it into this thing here. So, okay. So the other thing is, uh, it's a mounting plate for my camera. My camera is actually sitting on it right now and I'm going to just show you the picture of it. So it's just this plate and it's got a whole bunch of quarter inch screws, uh, holes. So you can put whatever there, you can mount it wherever. And then right here, see if I can move that over a bit. That also is a cold shoe mount. And so, and then if you can see here is the battery compartment, you have access to it, including your memory card. So just wanted to show you that, but um, I got that and that is making me very happy. It's changing how I'm able to mount my camera and have access to it. And then the way I have it is um, I'm using that bottom cold shoe mount for my microphone. I have like a little video, Rode video micro. Next. Let's do some nail stuff. Let's just save the diamond painting stuff for last. Okay, so I don't have a lot of um, nail colors, but the other couple months ago, I had my nails done in a green and I really liked it. Um, and she also did them in matte and I've been trying to find that color. It's kind of like a matcha color. So in my um, adventure of trying to look for it, I bought a set of nail polish and I'll just show you the color right there that I ended up coming up with. I just did my nails last night because I wanted to try out like you can see I've got some blue, um, I've got a really cool kind of uh, green 
and then this green I'm not giving you the finger I'm just trying to show you the, the picture so my nails look a little bit rough right now because I just did them but this is what I got it is the I think it's pronounced Mitzi it's a 12 piece or 12 color set. They're all in a kind of styrofoam container. This is the colors. So this is the one that I have to say the colors are really pretty, but they're not exactly like the picture. <laughs> and so I was a little bit disappointed. So this is the one that I just showed you on my finger, the green. That's this one here. Um, and that's with matte. I did kind of like the shiny on top and then the matte on the bottom, but those are the colors in it. And I just, some of them are so pretty. Like this is the blue. I absolutely love this dark army green. It's just a really, really, I love it. And it actually almost matches my shirt. I like that more than I thought I would, but the rest of them, this is okay, but it's not quite the color I was going for. So silly me. <laughs> I uh, ordered a second set. The colors just are not anything like the ad said they were gonna be. This is the next one. And if you look here, like that one is kind of like a, I don't even know how, what you would call that. It's more like a sagey green. But these two greens here were supposed to be very lime and they're not at all. So I, that's what I got this kit for and like there's not really any other colors in it that I like. I do like this one here. Um, I do like this light green one here but like it's not worth it for me to keep it um, if I'm not gonna totally enjoy it. So anyways, so that, that happened. What else did I get? Okay, so I've been doing my nails. I taught myself um, just YouTube. YouTube is great. Um, probably about 2007 ish back when buying off of eBay was almost more of a thing than Amazon and I have not replaced I've replaced colors I've replaced um, like top coats sometimes come with colors but I wanted I've never had a, a matte top coat um, so I got this little it's from Ro Rosalind and it's a three pack they're very tiny bottles, but it should last me for a while. My, my top coats generally do because you don't need very much. Oh, can I get into this? I was in it because I used it. Um, but they just come like this, and I'm not even going to try to read because... Um, but that's the size of the bottle because I'd have to put my glasses on. <laughs> um, but that's the size of the bottle, so it's from Rosalind. I think it's a 7 mil bottle, and... Lucky for me, it's like color coded on top so I can tell which one is which. This one is the matte. Um, and it just gives like a very flat color to your nails. And I wanted to try it out, especially um, after I had them done and had the uh, the green. I didn't like the stiletto aspect of them, um, but I did love that color. So I might actually just go back and ask her to order me that color and I'll just pay retail price for it. And that, but that's the thing, like you go into Sally Beauty and it's like $15 for just one color or more. Some of them are more. And this I got 12 for about 30 minus a $2 coupon. So good deal. The other thing is um, I got some nail prep and dehydrator and this is the extra strength primer. So going back to that whole thing about me not doing or learning to do my nails back in 2007. I bought everything I needed back then. I've replaced a few things like my drill and my lamp, but the nail, the, the primer is the same primer I had from back then. And I've been having troubles with um, my gel adhering because I, I sculpt my nails before I color them. Um, just to give them a nice shape because I have really flat finger, like flat nail beds. So it comes with both the dehydrator as well as the primer, um, the extra strength. I'm, I'm hoping it makes a difference. I did these. So what's been happening is I'll do them and literally right after I've done them within half an hour, the entire nail just popped. So I used it this time I had no issues with it whatsoever. It had to be this. This was the last thing for me to try. I tried so many things and uh, so just one more time, I'll bring that into the camera. 
and this was like decently priced too like um one bottle of just to, if I was just to buy the bottle of the acid primer um I think it was about twelve dollars and I got both of these for 20 so and I needed nail dehydrator I was getting low on it um I was having to like put my screw the cap on and shake it and take it off you know the thing you know it you know what I'm talking about that is it for nails I think so let's get into the diamond painting stuff yeah okay <laughs> all right so I am struggling with wax oh you guys it is like I mean I can use it but I fill my pen and five minutes later I have to fill it again. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it's the pen. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I have no idea, but I just, I don't like wax. So I've been trying to find for a while. I went to like sticky tack. Um, but then I was finding that the sticky tack, if you got it on the wrong place, it was impossible to get it off. What else have I tried? I guess just different waxes, darker waxes, lighter waxes, like I've had enough but I have been seeing some people use these glue dots that is I don't know if I can get if I put a shadow on here whoops sorry I just shook the camera but you can see the actual size of them they're they're really really small so it takes a couple you just poke them in the end and at first they're very very sticky this is this is what I'm hearing this is not my experience I haven't tried this yet at first they're really sticky and then you just kind of like tap them and get some of your oils from your skin onto it and then they calm down a bit and they last for a really really long time so I'm gonna give this a try and this was uh it wasn't cheap it was like 10 bucks but it comes with 325 I had to like cross my eyes to read that uh 325 which should last me an incredibly long time so really really happy about that I'm game for trying anything and then uh, something that's really got me excited. I've been looking at these since uh, probably very shortly after I started um, diamond painting. And it's one of the Xyron sticker makers. Uh, there we go. It looks like an X. I don't know if you've watched any videos. Chances are you've probably seen one of these. Um, this is so flipping cool. So there's 20 feet of sticker tape in here. And what you do is you cut out your legend, um, like you photocopy it, you cut it out, um, you s stick the paper in here, arrow down, so like towards here, in where my finger is going, and then you just, out the side here, you just grab this and you pull, you cut it off in the strip once it's as long as you need it, and you have your, um, your legend then becomes stickers that you can put on whatever storage container you use. So, and then you like you, once it's out, you just kind of like flatten out the, the sticker, peel off the top level, and there's a sticker. It is magic. Like magic, you guys. I don't know what kind of witchcraft goes into this, but it totally is a game changer. And I'm happy. Um, what I've been doing is printing them onto shipping labels and cutting out the shipping labels, but the paper on the shipping labels is a different texture, and so the symbols don't transfer quite as clearly as I would like. So this, this, like I said, game changer, totally game changer. Um, next thing I got, I just made my, my first order through Diamond Art Club, and I'm finally getting a painting with AB drills on it. But I've heard that wax can take off some of the AB magic. <laughs> and so people, I've seen a couple of people use different things, but this has got a wax tip. And let's just see. Yeah, so you just, I don't know if you can see that. But I've got a, a diamond on the end of that. And you don't press hard. This entire tip is wax, and then this side is, I don't really know what you would do. It's like very fine. I think you use these to like do your nails and put them. In... 
scam email. <laughs> and I just got my internet provider refund you. <laughs> That'll be the day I wish. Um, so anyways, this side is wax. This side has got a very sharp tip. Maybe you could move stuff around. Again, I think this is like a nail art tool, but the package came um, with two of them. And so that should last me. One of them's pink, one of them is clear, and then it's sparkly on the inside too. So I, and you just take this thing off. Sorry, I left that on, but anyways, really happy about that. I should be able to handle those um, AB drills much better with this. And I do like to, that it comes in a case. Um, so you're not accidentally gonna uh, smush the wax tip. They even got a little piece of styrofoam inside to um, protect it, but mostly I'm just worried about like knocking the wax off and you don't have to worry about that. The last thing I got, I finally got some cover paper. This cover paper was uh, $14 for 120 sheets and my intention is to cut them in half. I'm not sure. But these will last forever. They're in, uh, well, I don't think they'll last forever, but they're um, they're thicker. They're thicker than parchment paper. Same kind of feeling. They actually almost feel like wax paper. Maybe I should test this. Please stop it. Now my watch is going off. Oh yeah. So they don't bend. When I take that, I um, usually take my cover papers off and put wax paper on, but I can never cut it all uniformly. Um, and it just ends up looking like a big mess. So the idea is I have this, these are already cut straight. That's about a size that I could do um, in a sitting unless I'm going crazy, but then I have the option to, to pull off more if I want to do more. So I'm just going to keep these together in um, a pouch and use them this way. Like I said, I have like, they came saran wrapped. <laughs> so you know somebody cut them and packaged them and, but like they are perfect. They're, they're, they seem to be perfectly cut and there's quite a lot. Like that's like deck of cards. So really happy about that. Um, really tired of using parchment paper and tired of going through rolls and because we use it for cooking too. So, um, I, en I end up buying a roll for just this and then we run out in the kitchen and then I end up taking this and whatever. So this, it's reusable. I should be good for a while. And that is it. That is my Amazon haul. My very first Amazon haul. Were you surprised about the perplexus or knowing me? <laughs> Are you very not surprised? I don't know. You should see me play with it. Like I, anyways, there, I'm sure there are so many more out there. They're not cheap, but I, um, get so much fun out of them and I'm sure the grandkids will get fun out of them. And I know my daughter will get fun out of it. So really, really <laughs> happy with that one. But then I'm happy. I'm happy with the nails and I'm happy with all the nail stuff and my nails seem to be working and I'm happy with my sticker maker. And I mean, I'm just happy with it all. It all works. That's why I got it. So that's going to do it for me, you guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to see more things like this, um, more diamond painting stuff, more a little bit of everything, then I would love to have you be part of the family. So whatever you guys are doing, I hope you guys are having lots of fun, staying safe, and just finding a moment to make something or have something in your day that makes you smile. Take care, everybody. Love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.